Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast, where we help you establish strong trading habits, generate consistent profits, and create the lifestyle you desire for yourself and your family. Now your host, Raman Gill. Welcome to another episode of the Trading with Venus podcast. I'm your host, Raman Gill. One of the questions that keeps coming up again and again is why do traders lose money? So as you may have noticed on my website, I do strategy calls, free strategy calls with traders so they can book a call with me and ask me questions. This is one of the questions that keeps coming up through these strategy calls. Why did I lose money? I thought this is where the market was going. Everything was going fine and yet I lost money. So why do traders lose money? Throughout all these calls and also from my personal experience, what I have found is a lot of times the traders lose money not because they don't have a good strategy. Many times people have a good strategy, they know what they're doing from a technical perspective, yet they end up losing money. So here are a few of the things that I have noticed which cause people to lose money. First one is not really having a trade plan. So a lot of times people will take trades, they take trades from good levels. However, when they enter the trade, they do not have a defined stop loss or take profit targets. And this is where they fall short in their trade plan because sometimes things happen in the market. You know, some news will come out or some comments comes out that moves the markets. And yet, because they do not have a defined take profit or stop loss targets, they're not able to get out of that trade. So when you have these defined areas that you're looking to get out of the trade from, it makes it easier for you to either close the trade out with a loss or to actually book your profit. Many times the trade will go to exactly where you thought it was going to go and you look for that little bit extra and it will just come back all the way back to where you started from. Now this has happened to me many, many times, especially more recently because we have so many things going on in the market that have been moving the market lately. So having a good take profit target and also a stop loss target are very, very important. Now, when I tell this to people, another question that comes up is, should we have a stop loss because the brokers will do stop hunt? And why should we have a stop loss? Because we'll get taken out. Now, I'll address that question in the next episode, but for now, I would say have a stop loss and a take profit target in place, and you'll see that it will really take away some of that pain from your trading. Another reason that I've seen traders lose money is because they do not have a full view of the market. Let's say you were a quarterback. If you are going to throw the ball to someone, you want to have a full view of the field. You want to know exactly where all your receivers are, where people are on, the, on your team, as well as on the opposing team, your defense, where is everybody at any given time. Now, let's say if you were only focusing on one receiver and you did not look at anybody else, it would be very hard to actually have a successful pass. So what do you do? As a quarterback, you have to step back and then you have to view, you have to look at the entire field and see who's open, who could be in a position where they could get defended and who's the person who's most wide open. So once you have that view, you can then pass the ball, throw the ball and actually a person can make the catch. In the same way, if you are a trader, what a lot of traders do is only look at technicals. So technicals look great, so this is like looking at a receiver. You know where that receiver is, where he's gonna go, what his cut is, but as soon as you are ready to pass the ball, throw the ball to this person, your defense comes in, and now you're all messed up. All right, so as a trader, if you're not looking at your fundamentals, you do not have an idea of what the central banks are doing, what the government is doing, what oil is doing, what, Trump is doing, then it will make it very hard to make those decisions because we have a lot of things going on in the market lately. For example, Brexit. Every time Brexit news comes out, markets will move, they will become very volatile. Every time President Trump shuts down the government, markets will respond to that. Every time US and China get close to making an agreement, markets will respond a certain way. And next day, a comment will come out saying, oh, they are not 
very close to making an agreement and they will go in the opposite direction. So we are seeing a lot of this back and forth movement. So if you don't pay attention to your news feed or if you don't look at what the news is coming out or just ad hoc comments that are coming out, it will be like being a quarterback who's only looking at one receiver and not really taking the entire field into view. So even though you are primarily a technical trader, you do not want to just look at the technicals. You want a full view of the field. So have a look at what news is coming out, who's saying what, what decisions are being made, what Brexit is doing, what President Trump is doing, and what the central banks are doing in any country. So you do want to have that full, full view of the market. Another reason that a lot of traders will lose money is because of fear and greed. So like I said before in the first point, a lot of times we will have some targets in our mind and if you don't put our stop loss and take profit targets, uh, they become sort of moving targets. So when price gets to a point, we see the price going, there's momentum in the price, and then we think, oh, I think this is gonna go more, this will go higher. And as a result, we don't book the profit where we should have booked the profit, and now the trade starts to retrace, now you don't know what's going on, and all of a sudden it starts going in the opposite direction. So instead of having a trade where your profit target got hit, now you're sitting in a loss. Right? So this happens a lot to people. So this is because of fear and greed. So in this case, it was the greed that did not allow us to book a profit because we thought trade was gonna keep on going in that direction. And yet it turned around exactly where your profit target was. The second one is fear. So when the price starts to move against us, instead of closing out the trade and taking our stop loss, what we do is we move the stops. And in doing so, so we actually open ourselves up to having bigger stops. So a lot of people do not have the resilience to actually close the trade out when they should. I mean, this is something that I have to practice as well. So I like to have stop losses in place because when you have a loss, it's really hard to get out of that trade. And emotionally, it's hard to get out of that trade. So it's best to have a stop loss in place. Now, if you have other strategy where you're averaging and stuff like that, it will be hard to have stop losses, but you need to have a hard stop where it doesn't matter what strategy it is if you lose a certain amount per trade that stop needs to kick in so that's third reason why a lot of traders lose money is fear and greed so overall we need to build resilience we need to build emotional resilience in our trading and the only way we can do that is by practicing these things one at a time so maybe you don't do everything all at once, but start taking those profits off the table. Maybe start closing half of your trade off. Maybe have a bigger stop in place so you're not getting stopped out out of all of your trades. So that's all for today. If you like this episode, please subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with another episode next time. If you want consistency in your trading, we invite you to join our daily market analysis calls where we provide the levels to find the best entries and targets on an intraday basis. For a one-week free trial, please visit www.tradingwithvenus.com. Thanks for joining us today. With much gratitude, your show host, Raman Gill.